Hey, so how's everybody been doing? Uh, it's been a while since I last uploaded anything. Um, life's been a bit of, of a headache. and uh, Well, here I am trying to make up for it. So in this video, uh, it'll be a live feeding video. I'll be feeding uh, these ants uh, five red runner roaches. It's mainly for observation. And you gotta admit, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> Oh shoot, and you can already see that the action is starting to happen already. They already sensed the roach and they're, they're rushing trying to get them. Yeah, at this point they uh, they haven't stung them yet either. Definitely trying to sense them. There he goes, coming after them. Nice thing about uh, appropriate sized roaches is that you can live feed them and uh, actually see this happening. Yeah, they actually have enough mandible power to uh, really squeeze these roaches. Yeah, you can tell him like you know, he, he was holding that roach right in the middle and just just holding on. And I, I believe at this point they already stung him already. Uh, roaches are subdued pretty fast. Dragging him, dragging him right back into the hole. Nice. That was pretty amazing. Uh, <laughs> All right, so this one on uh, the second one. So, uh, oh shoot, this one's super aggressive. There's only two on the top. Usually I see like a, now well, I think this is uh, probably near the beginning, like a, a, a couple of weeks back when there were fewer workers. Now there's quite a few more workers. So I think there was about, there's about 40 workers now. And there's like about five, 10, sometimes 10 of them up there. But um, I think that's when they, um, they don't see me around. Yeah, so this uh, one single worker is <laughs> doing all the job hunting, hunting, hunting him. Uh, he got he got a leg, just stung him. And this is where I um, move uh, move that uh, thing out of the way, a little feeding tray, so that the roach can get out. Uh, look at that! Dang, one worker, one single worker doing all the work. He's like, I gotta feed the whole entire colony. <laughs> oh shoot! Yeah, you saw that? Just pushed him down there. Uh, here's a here's a smaller roach. Uh, you you see how fast uh, uh, it gets dealt with. You know that saying that sometimes size doesn't matter. Some of my best and feistiest hunters are actually my smaller workers. Uh, they're very fast to the point. Uh, meat stinger, and um, they're one of the most aggressive that I have seen. Uh, fourth roach. This one's a, a bit of a longer one. Uh, as you can see, uh, the size of this roach is uh, significantly bigger than the other one. I think this is so far the biggest uh, roach that I've given you guys. Um, they can, the, these roaches can get uh, twice as big, so it's a little too big uh, for a couple of these guys, these guys to uh, take down. But um, maybe an army of these guys one day. I like using red runner roaches for a couple of reasons. One of them is uh, size variety. Uh, there's uh, really small ones that the ants can take down pretty easy, and uh, the bigger ones in case you want to do a pre-kill and uh, feed more of them. Um, they are also pretty nice because uh, the exoskeleton is um, not that not that tough and so um, the ants are able to grab them and uh, get into them a lot easier. They're also um, like the ants, uh, they can't climb smooth surfaces so um, it's like almost a level playing field. You know, the ants can't climb up, the roaches can't climb up, it just works out a lot better. Oh, I think they got a stung, uh, I think they stung them. At this point, uh, so far they've been tugging at his leg, trying to pull off his leg and uh, his legs, trying to you know um, immobilize him a little bit more. I do find it pretty interesting how uh, fast these ants react, especially when they can't see that well. Uh, for example, when they miss their prey and end up grabbing their fellow sisters. Um, both ants uh, react pretty fast in order to not harm each other, and they're back uh, tracking down their prey. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Getting him! Wow, that was another one pushing him right down into the hole, out of the frying pan and into the fire. Right, uh, fifth roach. I do have one video that I didn't really edit that much. I, I wanted it for um, for more natural observation to see how long it takes them to sense and find their target since they really can't see that well, and um, to see when uh, they'll call for backup and stuff like that.
I thought this one was pretty interesting um, because uh, uh, you can tell they're uh, they're tracking him down. They they can't really see him, but they're they're tracking him down. I think you might have noticed in some of these clips where um, the red runners uh, are near the hole or even down the hole that they actually try to climb back up a lot of the times. I don't know if it's uh, because uh, they sense the answer down there or it's because uh, they're uh, more of a terrestrial roach and they don't like you know going down to burrows and stuff like that. I've seen these ants approach uh, prey items in many different ways. Uh, one reason is because of uh, the size of the prey. They size up their prey. Uh, preys that are small are approached more boldly and aggressively, scooping them up quicker. Large prey, however, they uh, tend to stalk them, approach them in a more cautious way. They, they do tend to take their time to consider what they plan to do to them. Um, prey that plan to escape uh, usually activate the ants' uh, pursuit mode pretty fast. I do find it pretty interesting how they use their stingers sometimes. Uh, it's not just to in, um, inject venom, but it's also to, uh, it's kind of like how we use a fork to uh, impale our food and put it into our mouth. They use their stinger to um, push the prey item into their mandible so they can get a better grip. Oh, look at this little guy go. It's like uh, playing football. He always got to be on his feet, you know, dodging and weaving in between the ants and stuff. He's doing a pretty good job, though. Yeah, look at him go. Nice. Oh, oh. That was really close. Yeah, it would be interesting one day if I have a bigger car. Oh, dang. He just jumped into the hole. <laughs> you see it? See it? He came, he came right back out again. It's like I, I told you before. Um... They, they, they usually try to stay away from that hole. It's either they sense the ants or they just, they're, they're, they're terrain ants. They don't want to go down to no burrow. No, no suspicious burrow. Yeah, it would be nice one day if I have a bigger colony and, you know, use bigger roaches and see what they do with them. Very nice. Oh, shoot. Oh, he gave up and went down. So, um, venom potency. Um... I've never gotten stung by one of these guys, uh, though I am somewhat curious. I've been stung by giant centipedes before. Um, anyhow, uh, it is strong enough to subdue a red runner in a minute or two. I have a question sometimes uh, on why they don't use it or or seem reluctant to, especially on roaches like Dubious. Alright, so here we got some workers eating up uh, pieces of roaches that they cut up. Now we got some uh, clips of close-up feedings of the larvae. been meaning to show you guys some of these. Did you guys see that? It's uh, it's like the worker kind of lost her patience. Uh, I do notice that they uh, they, they, they get triggered sometimes. Like uh, like uh, they get into the mode of uh, gotta feed the precious larvae, and then uh, they snap and they're like, give me the food, it's mine. And I'm also noticing uh, a little bit of uh, get over here, the food's over here, not over there. It's quite an interesting response. All right, so uh, a lot of these clips, uh, I, I like them because uh, you can see a very close up shot of uh, the larvae just eating they're like gathering on top of the roach carcass and uh, the workers are even uh, maneuvering the larvae into uh, position so that they can actually feed off to the roach like uh, if you look closely um, you know uh, my, I'm pretty sure my motion stabilize stabilization on both my lens and my camera is working over time <laughs> uh, but yeah right here uh, for example you can see um, the worker right there kind of like um, repositioned like uh, it stopped the larvae in its track and it's like hey uh, don't worry about the roach over there uh, worry about your food the food right in front of your face so uh, you can actually see really close up of uh, their mandibles and them reaching up trying to you know devour the food and stuff like that yeah look at all those small little larvae on the right side gathering uh, right at the body so they can kind of sense the roaches there too Yeah, they're all like attached, kind of like leeches in a sense. It's kind of creepy in a sense, but uh, it's kind of neat. Look, you can see the um, the larva on the left side. The worker is like pulling apart the pieces to feed itself or probably uh, for another larvae. But you can see it eating. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Um, I also have a video or two of them eating hide fruit flies. Um, different prey, slightly different behavior. See you guys later. Bye-bye.